I've been feeling nostalgic. You know, I've, I've been an out and proud member of the gay community since I came out onto the scene. And I think I just want to make a video that's just really gay. <laughs> just like that. And I knew when I knew it was cool the first time I found Tell me what video are we talking about today? This is my video for Velvet. The song is is literally a, like comparing the perfect lover to the fabric Velvet, which is really ridiculous when you think about it. Um, so I, I was talking to Charlotte Rutherford, who ended up directing this, uh, and when we were coming up with ideas in the beginning, I said, well, should we just be literal? What if I was like a tailor and I was making suits? Actually, a lot of the suits that I've been wearing lately were designed by a tailor in the UK, a man named Edward Sexton. He made suits for like Elton John and uh, Mick Jagger. So that kind of inspired me to say, why don't I act as a tailor in this video? Fashion is very much a part of you as an artist. So what's your relationship with fashion? I love when clothes make you feel like there's an occasion happening. Whether you're socializing or working, it, it tells a story, it like, it communicates something to the people that you're interacting with. This video is kind of has like a bunch of different looks and motifs. Tell me how you came up with those different looks. A lot of that was Charlotte and her team. She said, well, why don't we do vignettes with different models to kind of you know, paint a picture. And, and one of the things we talked about was wanting to go super kind of queer with the casting. We kind of went after casting people that were different and quirky and, and also for it to be um, inclusive, you know? We have every different shape and size and color and age and I, I think that represents my fan base. It really did. And I wanna, you know, focus on the suits that you wore specifically. Tell me about those looks and what was it, like picking them out. I had worked with Kieran, the stylist, on another photo shoot, um, and so we had a little bit of a shorthand. And I told him that I had these suits that I wanted to wear, and these are these Edward Sexton suits. Um, so the red one is custom, bespoke suit. It's three pieces. It's in a shimmery red fabric. And we did a bunch of chains to kind of make it look a little more modern. Then the other suit is like a blue velvet with a green silk ruffled shirt, which is the most ridiculous shirt in the world. And I had to wear it. <laughs> when you're performing with Queen versus when you're performing as a solo artist, does your aesthetic or your wardrobe change a little bit? A little bit, yeah. I mean, I think my sensibilities stay the same, which is usually more is more. That's my sensibility. I think with the this solo stuff right now, the sound has a look. It's Again, it's this retro-inspired thing. There's a little dash of like 70s like New York pimp to it all. That's what, what the album sounds like to me. It has this like world. And then with the Queen stuff, I tend to kind of, in a suggestive way, I kind of think to myself, would Freddie want to wear this? Are there any moments in the music video that are your favorite? I really enjoy the, um, the wedding sequence. I think it's, it's silly and it was fun to shoot. And I really liked my white cowboy outfit. <laughs> Did you keep it? Well, the, the white suit was mine. Um, so, so all the stuff was mine. The hat was lent. The choreo with the clear umbrella reminded me of Madonna Vogue a little bit. I kept thinking it also reminded me a little bit of like Rihanna umbrella. Like I kept singing that in my head. I mean, speaking of, who have been some of your um, big inspirations when it comes to, you know, music videos, visuals, creativity? Madonna is a great example of someone. I mean, I grew up watching Madonna and she was like the queen of video. And then into the 90s, like if you look at music videos, like Missy Elliott always turns it out. She, her stuff's always cool. I think Gaga's an amazing music video artist. I mean, she's an amazing artist, full stop, but that includes her incredible videos, you know, um, a visionary. I got that feeling. Your debut album turned 10 years old. Along with that was What Do You Want For Me, one of your biggest hits. How do you think that your style has evolved since then? My style's evolved a lot, I think. Um, I mean, I still like wearing makeup. It's, it just makes me feel ready to take on the world. I don't know, I think it's just my inspirations have shifted a little bit. I think in the beginning, I was coming out of this like emo, like flat ironed. It was actually a bit inspired by sort of like Japanese anime. There was a bit of that going on. I always, I always get inspiration 
for what I wear by like a, a genre or a time period. I like a theme. I like I like there, there to be like a through line. I think I think in the beginning, you know, I was kind of just like taking a guess at what I wanted to do in many ways. But I think with this project, it was I really wanted to dive further into like the artistry of it all. I wanted to find something that was specific. You know, a lot of people like jump to a conclusion based on something you did the very first time you hit the scene. And, and evolving is, is really fun, but it also take, it takes a second to get everybody on board. Jumping back to the video, what was kind of the main message that you wanted your, your fans or your viewers to take away from it? I think that Velvet is a celebration. I think it has a lot of joy. I needed that to be a part of the video. I wanted people to see the, the playfulness and to see us playing dress up as literally like that's that's what's happening. I, I, it always cracked me up with with the phrase like, oh, I love that I could never pull it off. That's my favorite thing when I hear it. I go, well, that's nonsense. Like all you have to do to pull it off is have the desire to try it on. It, it, it's, it's tuning out what anybody else thinks. It's dressing for yourself.